Good evening. Welcome back to my sofa. I feel like we should start calling this section like sofa time. Oh, my brushes all just fell. Got them. <laughs> Three second rule, does that count for brushes? Tonight I am going on a date, a first date. And um, hmm, I don't know what to say about this. I thought I would just do my makeup, do like a kind of chit chat, get ready with me for what I would do for first date. But basically, I need to start getting ready because otherwise I'm gonna be late. I'm not late for like meetings dates that's like the rule i mean i'm literally so late for everything else like up to like an hour <laughs> actually i've never been an hour late have i probably my friends who are probably watching this are like you've been an hour late for me <laughs> so yeah i have a first date tonight i don't really get nervous before first dates like i wouldn't say i get nervous oh by the way i'm using my elemis hydro boost sensitive day cream yeah i don't get nervous maybe hesitant is a better word i'm kind of feeling a bit like okay i wonder how this is gonna go i also get kind of like anti-awkward like i'm like i really hope this isn't awkward do you know what i mean and then i'm like sitting there like when can i leave before this is too much i'm gonna use this perfecting cooling primer from origins i tried it the other day and it's so cool look at that isn't that crazy it like squirts out like a little foam and then you put it on your skin Ooh, and it's really cold it's like a little ice and it just smooths over your skin so well it's kind of snazzy isn't it anyway first dates i mean i've obviously never met this guy before oh no that's not obvious is it <laughs> I've never met this guy before. I haven't done the whole Tinder thing yet. I've done like a couple of other apps, but I haven't actually gone on actual Tinder. All my friends on Tinder say that some of the other apps are better. I've had some pretty awkward first dates in my time. I feel like sometimes first dates are just like, cringe so hard like just so so cringe i'm gonna use this actually on my skin the it cosmetics cc but this is the illumination one it is so beautiful i've used it every single day since i got it because it lights up your skin so beautifully it's a tiny bit too dark for me but it matches my neck it is gorgeous it has a really nice medium buildable coverage as well i'm using this iconic london brush which is so good for foundation when i can't be bothered to use a sponge i use these brushes anyway what was i saying oh yeah i had a really awkward first date once oh there's my phone maybe it's my date <laughs> oh no it's my mum. <laughs> It was a blind date, like a setup. I kind of have this weird rule when I go on blind dates or just like dates in general where I won't like stalk the person before to a major extent. I'll like stalk them so that I obviously know what they look like, but I don't want to like find out everything about that person and like go through their whole like Facebook or Instagram or Google or whatever like history. And I find that especially if I feel like I'll, I like someone or you've been on a couple dates with them, either you find out something good. I'm going to use this um estee lauder double wear by the way you know i have been loving this i'm gonna use the full coverage side so yeah either you find out something good and that's good because you like them anyway so you're finding out something good about them so probably make you like them more or you find out something bad or like off-putting but you're gonna find that out anyway it's just kind of easier to not easier i mean like it's probably easier to find out the google facebook instagram way but it's just kind of nicer that's a better word to just find it out for yourself rather than like basing your judgment on someone's online life basically i'm going to use the matching concealer this is the it cosmetics bye bye under eye it is super thick but it's amazing it really covers your under eye bags and i'm going to use this zoeva brush like a little tapered brush to put it under my eyes anyway i was telling you about this awkward first date so i didn't look up this guy and we went on a first date I kind of knew what he looked like, but I literally knew like nothing about him apart from my friend said that we should go on a date. Anyway, <laughs> I get on this date and within like two minutes, I know this is kind of going to sound like quite weird and whatever, but within two minutes, I just knew that it wasn't going to go anywhere. Like I'm quite a loud D, not loud, but like I'm quite a like not shy, outgoing person. And I kind of attract similar personalities to me that are quite like bubbly and stuff and this guy was so sweet so sweet but so shy i just didn't really i don't know i can't even put my finger on it apart from the shy thing it was just the general vibe i was just like no this is gonna be a thing but i was like thank goodness it's just drinks it can be like an hour hour and a half and then i can peace out basically i'm gonna use this tart eye base which is really gorgeous because it's yellow so it counteracts the veins on my lids 
Um, by the way, for my smoky eye, well, you know, my usual like Amelia eye, I don't go full on smoky on a first date because I feel like it's just a bit much. I'll kind of go for like a more neutral eye. I mean, like it is evening and it is me. I am a smoky eye girl, but I'll go a bit lighter. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, Tom Ford launched these amazing single eyeshadows. They're really beautiful. I'm not a huge fan of single eyeshadows, to be honest. I kind of prefer working from a palette, but when I'm using like one or two shades, then these are really beautiful, especially if you're someone that just likes one wash of color and you just want a really gorgeous, easy eyeshadow. This is in warm leatherette and it's just like a really natural golden shade. So yeah, anyway, I'm like, okay, great. It gets to like an hour of drinks. I'm like, okay, amazing. Kind of almost time to say bye <laughs> and someone comes over to our drinks and is like okay great your table's ready for dinner and I was like beep I literally was like swearing in my head like oh crap what am I gonna do and we were like really running out of conversation like really scraping at the seams for conversation and I was like now we're gonna have to have dinner and we're gonna have like another like two hours together and like we've already ran out of stuff to say like what are we gonna do it was so bad honestly oh i'm using a matte crease color this is vertigo putting that in my crease this is quite a natural crease color i'm just gonna keep it semi simple like that so anyway we were at dinner i didn't order a starter on purpose because i didn't want to like long out this dinner in this kind of situation you think like do we just kind of address the elephant in the room that it's just not going to be a thing or do we just be polite or what i don't even know anyway it gets to the end of the meal it's time to go home we have literally nothing to say to each other absolutely nothing anymore i think at one point we covered same topics twice <laughs> that's how bad it got anyway it gets to like the end and i'm like saying bye and my uber is outside or whatever and it's always awkward because you don't want to do a channel and friends when you're like well this is great we should do it again sometime because you have nothing else to say when you're saying bye to someone so i can't even remember what i said and he actually leaned in to kiss me and we ended up <laughs> this is so awkward we ended up head budding i went in to kiss him on the cheek to say bye and he came to like find my lips and <laughs> So awkward it was so awkward and then we just butted into each other basically i was cringing out so hard at this point that i just legged it i literally legged it down the street i was like okay i'm just gonna do my eyeliner quickly doing a little bit of this there we go i kind of do a bit of a natural eyeliner just like along the lash line with a really creamy pencil and then i just blend it out this pencil is amazing it's the by terry one and it actually doesn't smudge on my eyes either but it's just really really easy to use good times my whole nib just fell out on my eye <laughs> good my eyeliner is done and i'm just finishing off a little bit of mascara with this Rimmel Wonderfully Real Mascara. I think I'm gonna do my bronzer now. I'm using an old favorite of mine. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer, which I haven't actually used in ages. Do, 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 swirly swirl. Um, so, where was I? Oh yeah, I was talking about awkward dates. So yeah, that is why I now normally try and maneuver the situation so that it's drinks, not dinner, because you could end up getting stuck for quite a while. I am a little bit obsessed with this Dolce & Gabbana blush. It's actually a dark shade. It's the shade tan, but I use it as a contour and it really gives you such a cheekbone pop situation. I love this. You might have seen this on my Instagram video recently. I'm going to just quickly do my lips. I'm going to do a bit of this iconic nude lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't like to overline my lips when I'm going on a date, especially if you're eating or drinking. It fades and then below is like the line and stuff. It's just too much of a risk i also don't want to be that person that like goes to the bathroom eight times do you know what i mean i'm actually going to use this lipstick which is so nice it is the surat lip sleek in shoe coater i don't know I'll, I'll put the details of it down below but because it's kind of balmy and glossy it works really well over the top of lip liner especially because it's not so much of a slippy balm and i really like the color as well 
Look, it's really pretty. It's just really natural. I'm gonna do a bit of the new NARS highlighter, which is so gorgeous. I don't love wearing highlighter on first dates because it picks up the light quite a lot. It's not a very natural product like powder highlighter, I don't think. So I'm gonna use it on a bigger brush than I normally would. This is the shade Ibiza. As you can see, I've like dented it already. And I'm just gonna sweep that on my cheeks as opposed to just like concentrating it on, just so it gives me more of a youthful look rather than a stripe, if you know what I mean. This is the best, best natural bra. <laughs> this is the best, best natural blush. It's Laura Mercier Lush Nectarine. I'm just gonna dab that on my cheeks. It's like the perfect peachy pink. Gives you a bit of life in your cheeks. Just gonna put some mascara on my bottom lashes. Then I can sort out my hair and everything else. There we go. I'm gonna use this perfect hair day dry shampoo from Living Proof. It doesn't have a really intense smell, which is why I like it. So first you spray it, then you actually leave it for 30 seconds, and then you work it into your hair, and it gives you a lot of volume as well. It has a really, really fresh scent. The other day I had such greasy hair. You know when your hair is so greasy that it actually doesn't really move? Probably should have washed my hair, but anyway, this was the other day. <laughs> um, it's still kind of greasy. And I sprayed this in my hair, I left it, and my hair actually looked so good like it was to the point where like i probably shouldn't have gone out with that hair but um when i put the dry shampoo in i was like okay you know what this isn't actually bad so now i've kind of left that in you can see it's like super gray then i'll just start working it into my hair with my hands and it just it blends in actually really easily let me just make sure i'm actually blending this before i say that uh, it's because i don't have a mirror in front of me and i don't have my contacts in ooh, 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 ooh. definitely don't want to look like corella deville on a first date i don't don't think I'm actually gonna do that much to my hair. I feel like it's flowing quite nicely and I have like a bit of wave in it at the mo. Even my little X fringe is okay. So that is actually my hair. I'm just gonna actually keep it like this. I think that looks kind of nice. I did actually use something else when I got out of the shower this morning. I've got really good at moisturizing when I get out of the shower because I notice such a difference in my skin when I don't moisturize and like I'll take off my jeans and like skin flakes will like float into the air and it will look so disgusting. So I actually need to moisturize. And this is one of my favorite moisturizers. I think this is my second bottle now. I used to use a different version, but I actually really like this one. This is the Soothing Body Lotion by Mixer. It has a pump, so it's just really easy to use. It's not fragrance, which I love, because I can put my perfume over the top of it, and then my perfume kind of holds. I have two favorite date fragrances. The first one is Serge Lutin, and this is Umbra Vani, which I've spoken about since, like, I started my channel. And I've been through probably over 30 bottles of this in the past five years. Like, it's just... Just, it's like my scent. I love it so much. Actually, it was Philippa scent that I <laughs> decided I loved so much. And then the second is Giorgio Armani C. I've just started a brand new bottle of this literally two days ago. I'm so happy to have this back in my life. And then I'll always use a little Travelo, which basically is the best thing ever because you take off the, um, I have another search you down here, like an even more finished one. Um, you take off the lid and you pump it like this. And it basically means you can transport your fragrance anywhere and you don't actually end up wasting any fragrance. Like pouring stuff and it leaking everywhere and then this just basically does that so when you want to spray it on yourself you can take it with you in your handbag without actually lugging around your fragrance i have a pretty simple first date outfit i think you know me i don't really wear that much black anymore like i wear a few black things but when i go on a first date something comes over me and i just want to like suss out the situation my first date outfit is always black i don't know why something just or black and white or like it's just very neutral basically so i'll probably end up wearing like a white top something cute um, and girly especially if I'm going out for drinks or black leather pants always black leather pants and sometimes over the knee boots or sometimes little heels or maybe mules or something like that <laughs> this is something that I just want to dad in I'll wear a bag that I can put over my shoulder or I won't need to hold in my hands because if you do end up kissing someone on a first date no judgment if you do or you don't there are no rules but you would obviously want to have your hands free this sounds really dodgy <laughs> like your hands go in places but like I feel like you don't want to be concentrating on like keeping your clutch in your hand do you know what I mean <laughs> sounds really bad doesn't it <laughs> anyway with this outfit I would probably wear like a Chanel which is what I'm gonna wear tonight this is literally the exact outfit I'm gonna wear in terms of jewelry and stuff I just keep all my usual stuff on I don't really switch it up that much I won't really wear any big fancy 
jangly earrings or anything just my usual my usual little hoops and things which i love i love this little hoop stack i've got going on on my ears i think these ones are really sweet and cute and they're really easy they're actually really affordable as well so i'll link them down below and that is that is everything i feel like kind of awkward to close my vlog camera because when i do that means it's actually time to like go on this date i'm just wondering what uh, what it's gonna be like i don't know <laughs> <laughs> so dear anyway i'm kind of excited i don't really even drink that much so i don't normally drink that much on a first date either <laughs> i will report back on how this goes as i mentioned when a couple of months ago i was like i am not gonna be vlogging any dates <laughs> so no one get any ideas because that's not gonna happen and uh, i will see you in a couple days time with another video Mwah. bye guys